What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Team of the Week Investing. Now this is an kind of like a series where I go through the Team of the Week that's just come out and sort of tell you guys a few players which I think from my personal experience with you know their ratings and their sort of the leagues and the stuff they play in, um, whether they will kind of rise in price after they're out of packs from the Team of the Week. So we're going to go through, there are a lot of big names in this week's Team of the Week. Um, there are the likes of, you know, Centre Tech and Mid, Third in Form Bale, um, is that third in form bail? I'm pretty sure it is third in form bail, or it might be second in form. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a centre second mid in form bail, and it is you know incredible. He's been playing absolutely amazing recently. Um, now, the reason I wouldn't say to invest in him is because already he's like 2.5 million coins uh, on the PS3, maybe even a bit more than that now. And if you were to try and make a bit of coins on him, he would have to rise a lot in price. Um, otherwise, you'd just get you know destroyed. But destroyed by tax so I would kind of just stay away from him and as well he's very very likely to get a th you know a fourth in form um, or just another in form because he's been playing amazing recently and he's very likely to you know score a couple more goals or score another sensational goal and get another in form card because EA do like their money so um, you know that's just my opinion on him uh, Robin, uh, you know, again, he's going to be very, very expensive, so it's going to be very hard to make um, a good amount of coins with, on him without being, you know, kind of done over by tax. If, if you think about it, if he's, you know, over a million coins, you're going to have to be having him make you more than like 100k to actually get a decent profit out of him because tax from a million coins is 5% and that's 50,000 coins and that is a lot of coins so you know you can see kind of see where I'm coming from here um, so I would kind of stay away from the really really expensive players um, from this week's team of the week but one that I think could um, you know definitely rise in price is this guy Figueroa now he's an inform he's um, got the same pace as the inform uh, Bakri Sanya as well and he's a lot cheaper and he's kind of got the same kind of stats obviously to, to a kind of a worse degree but um, he would still be absolutely fantastic he is a little small um, but I think he's the same height as uh, Bakri Sanya so I th I'm not too sure how much he's going for at the moment but I definitely think this guy could be a good player to pick up I can't see him getting another in form because he's not really that kind of player that gets you know several in forms but you know I think he could be one um, of them players to really you know maybe buy and actually keep hold of for a little bit same with this guy here um, this guy's a fantastic centre back you know 74 pace 81 defending and nice. 82 heading um even though he's not got you know well not really in the most popular league in the world well Bundesliga is fairly popular um he's also linking with Cameroon of course because he's from Cameroon uh, so he can link into the Boxes Premier League he can link in um to you know many other leagues as well which have Cameroonian center backs so uh, like the League One and stuff like that so I think he could be you know a good player to buy um whenever I've played with him before he's been fantastic so definitely worth a look in there um and then we have Raphael the second in form Raphael 86 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 defending, and also 77 passing. I think his shooting bit should be a lot more than that. Some of the goals he scored have been absolutely sensational. So I think it's pretty ridiculous that his shooting is only 63, should be at least 70, um, even 75, 77, somewhere around that mark. Um, but yeah, overall, this guy's a bit of an iffy one. Like it he could get another in form um you know it's it's very very likely that he could get another in form but i think for the moment he you know he could be a good one to buy um because he's kind of like a cheap in form right back from um brazil even though there was another i think it was the in form danilo that came out the other week um this guy's from the boxes premier league and he's you know i think he probably will be the best in form right back in the boxes premier league at this moment in time so it is worth a shot maybe picking up this guy um you know, and seeing if he does sort of rise in price, I can imagine him being very, very popular among United fans, of course, and of course, just anyone wanting to build a fully informed BPL team or even just linking into, you know, Brazilian league or any other leagues with Brazilian players. Um, it's as simple as that. And then, so for the for the rest of the players, um, you know, there's there's Orban Menyang, um, the informed version here, but he's usually a default striker. I'm not too sure if he'll rise in price, you know, that much. He's kind of in, um, he kind of plays for a team which isn't really that established. Um, you know that people don't really you know know but know them well know much about them. You know Saint Etienne. Um, I'm not too sure how they're doing in the Ligue 1. You know they might be doing really well, and a lot of people might need you know know about them. Um, personally, for me, they're not really a team that I follow. Um, or really kind of, kind of sounds bad, but care about. Um, it's as simple as that. But you know he could he could rise in price. You never know. Um, he might be one to sort of just buy, build a squad around, and just see if he rises in price. This guy here um, can't see him doing anything. Certainly, seven pays for a left mid. It's not really worth it at all. Uh, this guy here, Benat, that is, uh, 
you know, a lot of people have been saying he's actually very, very good. 88 passing, um, he's an informed Spanish guy in the Liga BVA, so he has has every right to sort of really rise in price. Um, again, would be a bit, a, a bit of a sketchy one in my opinion. I wouldn't really like to invest in him. The ones that I would personally invest in, Figueroa and Rafael. Um, I think they're your, you know, your main ones which you could probably make a, a, a decent amount of profit on. Um, and then, of course, you've got the likes of your Conan. This guy was fantastic for me. If you want to build, you know, if you want to buy a player which is very, very, very cheap. Um, and can score a lot of goals and is a real threat definitely by this guy he is absolutely fantastic and as for silvers I kind of stay away from silvers I'm not really good at judging them um, mainly for the fact that I don't really use silvers that much this year I'm more into golds but you know that is just my personal opinion anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video if you have enjoyed it then as always feel free to drop a like on the video it does help me out and shows me that you guys support the video have a nice day guys and peace